Mike Kavanaugh with HIVHero.org and HeroNews.org, and I'm here with Ballet Royalty is Robert LaFox. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, thanks. Good afternoon. So we're so excited because we're giving you the Ballet Hero Award, oh. and uh, I just can't believe that you're agreeing to do that, so I'm so humbled. Well, I'm completely honored, and I feel, you know, uh, it's great. I, I love... I love the organization and I love what you do and uh, being a, an HIV positive um, man living with AIDS for over 30 years, um, this means a lot to me. Great. So you've done so much, so many dances, you were with ABT as a principal and New York City Ballet as a principal and you choreographed over a hundred uh, operas and ballets and shows and mm -hmm. how, how do you get it all done? <laughs> Well, I turned 60 in, in, in d December, yes. so, you know, I mean, the, new 30. the more, the, the longer you live, the more you do, right. and I just never stop. I, I've really, um, you know, I started as a child doing musical theater and dance, and uh, I was in a, a, a production every year, either the Nutcracker or Oliver or uh, whatnot, and then I came to New York uh, very early um, when I was 17, and I got a job wow. and you know at at, a, at the height of sort of that that period of when Barishnikov was the director and um, I just started getting more roles and um, and then you know transferred to New York City Ballet on the invitation of Jerome Robbins and more roles there I was uh, I was he was choreographing on me and I was dancing his ballets and the Balanchine repertory and it just it just kind of every, year after year you do more and more and then I did uh, when I was 19 I did uh, Bob Fosse's dancing yeah. you know out of nowhere Gwen Verdon calls you and asks you to come do this show because wow. they had somebody that got injured you know it my life has sort of been you know unreal and a, a little bit like a dream uh -huh. and um, but you know I love it I love what I do and I love the theater and um, you know I I will perform Uptown, downtown, midtown, it doesn't matter. It, you know, n no venue is too small or too big. So right. that's, that's, that's my motto. Just say yes to everything. Right. right. I love <laughs> that. Um, what's your favorite piece you danced? Do you think? I know there's so many, but. Well, I think the piece that means the, the most to me, of course, was Jerome Robbins' Broadway. Um, <laughs> Uh, because Which, I got to, by the way, you got a Tony nomination. Oh, yeah, yeah. How about that? That was un, un, unexpected. Um, but I think that experience was, um, means the most to me because it was working with a master like Jerome Robbins, yeah. 22 weeks of rehearsal, uh, getting to explore all those shows, right. basically his career. And uh, to me, that, was, that means the most. I mean, I, I started out as a kid and I was in in the musical Gypsy, so I had a connection to him when I was even a kid, right, you know, yeah. and I, uh, I got to, I got to work with him, and um, to me that was the, that was the highlight uh -huh, of my sure. career. So what, tell me what you love about that form of dance. I mean, you've done everything, but right? What, what does it take to be a really good ballet dancer? Well, I think ballet is, of all of the the, the forms of dance that I've studied, is the most um, dis difficult the, and the one that gives you the most discipline uh, the rules are much stricter um, it's also some people consider it like the base for everything you know yeah. the line and the form um, but I really started off with jazz and acrobat and tap those were the oh, ones wow. you know and then I added ballet um, but I, I have to say that Ballet is the one that, you know, I go back to every day. It's the one that's the most spiritual for me, you know, turning out the legs. And, and that's what I teach today. I, I teach ballet. So, Robert, what is something that very few people know about you? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that's a good question. Very few people know about me. Well, I don't know. I mean, my HIV status, I've, I've, I, 
I think I don't know if everyone knows about it, but it's not something I'm secretive about. Right. Um, it's something I've been living with since the since the 80s. I was one of the lucky people who um, got to be on one of the drug trials before the drugs were actually approved. Wow. Yeah. So, um, so knock on wood. For 30 years, right? Yeah, since 80, since they've known about the test, you know, yeah. like 80 what what is it? 83 or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So it's been um, quite quite a journey and and you know really difficult watching all of your friends die and wondering whether you're going to be next and living through that and then you know and then uh surviving and then also seeing um gay men and women and just people living with you know this disease and how how complicated it is and the stigma and um you know, but I think it's it's we've gotten to a point where it's we can somewhat manage it and uh, and but it's at this point it's you know helping to educate people, right. you know, making sure that people understand what they can do to yeah, fight I, it. I'm very um, worried about the stigma thing because we thought it would go away and it still is happening. Um, and just so people know that someone that's undetectable is safer than someone that you don't know their status. So to keep that in mind. Correct. Absolutely. And uh, now with PrEP and, uh, you know, we have a way of getting to zero infection. There, right. you know, it, it, it's there. So, um, you know, I'm hopeful. Um, but it's still, you know, the, the, there's communities that don't have access, you know, and that's what's most important, you know, and we have to get to those right. communities because um, that's... Uh, that that's what's going to get us to zero uh, infections. So, Robert, this is one of the fun things we like to talk about. On your resume, do you have any special skills listed? <laughs> oh, God, special skills. I don't uh, on my resume. I, you know, I, I didn't really have to audition. I hate to say yeah, this. Uh -huh. um, I went from ballet company to yeah. being invited to do things, and um, it's not a great place to be in when you all of a sudden you want to want to audition because yeah. you haven't, you know. But um, I'm trying to think. I um, special skills. Um, no, yeah, I don't. We, we just I don't. So funny. I don't. Yeah, I think okay. I think ballet is a special skill. No, absolutely. <laughs> what advice would you give to someone that's young that wants to be like you? And become a ballet legend. <laughs> How do you? Well, do I don't think you. I, I. The important thing is I don't think you. Um, uh, it's important not to want to become a star. I think it's the day-to-day -day work. It's not the. You know. I, I believe in goals, but I believe in short-term goals. You know, mm -hmm. like what, what? What can I do this week, to, mm -hmm. to 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 further my career or to get what I want? You know. I mean, that's basically what we're doing. I think taking class is really important mm -hmm. every day. Um, I'm seeing a lot of dancers these days skipping the, that part of it, yeah. you know, working on the technique every day. You know, that's, that's the most important um, advice I can give because um, eventually the role will come. Eventually, you know, the... the, the um, uh, you know, you, you, you gain the technique in order to, to, you know, to get the, you know, the audition that gets you the role. So I think it's really just setting smaller goals, not, not this idea of like, I want to be a star. I never really set my goal to be a star. Right. I just wanted to dance. Uh -huh. And I was willing to either dance on Broadway in a ballet company, or I didn't know where I was, where I was going, but I knew that I loved it mm -hmm. and that I, I wanted to do it. I didn't really assess my talent myself. I let other people do that because you're you're in a field where other people hire you. You know, right, yeah. you can, you can push so much, but it's really it's subjective. You know, yeah. I mean, one day you could be the the favorite, and the next day you could not be. So it's I think it's important just to focus on what you can do right. on a daily basis. Yeah. I so Robert, we're so happy you're doing our event, but have you done any other charity work uh, regarding HIV? Oh God, yes. Well, early on, uh, the New York City Ballet did the um, the AIDS Walk. Every year, we raised a lot of money. We sat down and, and um, 
you know, we were, we were the top 10, you know, um, organizations for many years. I've done work with um, Broadway Cares, Equity Fights AIDS. Um, I directed a, a, a revival of The Night Larry Kramer Kissed Me. Mm -hmm. uh, it was 25th anniversary, wow. David Drake's play. And I've done a lot of work with the Alliance for Positive Change, uh, formerly known as um, AIDS Service Center. I did a, a benefit, uh, directed and produced a benefit called, originally it was called Broadway's Best in Drag, and then, <laughs> we, then, we, then we changed it to New York's, New York's Best in Drag to be more inclusive. Oh. The idea was to get Broadway uh, performers to do drag. I would have loved that event. I mean, it was fun. It was oh. fun. We've had, I think, four or five events, and um, several people, Sasha Velour was oh. one of our winners one year, and... Crystal Demure, who was Jay Harris, um, went on to do Kinky Boots. A lot of our contestants went on for to you know to do bigger and better things. So yeah, that was a very special event to me. But I'm always that's my form of activism is right. is doing events. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you for doing that and being Thanks. part of part of the AIDS community trying to change the world. Thank so, you. Little by little, dollar by dollar, we're doing it. Right. Anything I can do. I'm you know I'm I'm a privileged. Um, man to be still alive and also to have access to health care so I'm right. anything I can do to help other people so actually you're gonna have a piece in our show one of your pieces of choreography I hope so <laughs> oh, please come to the event by the way it's the Broadway and Ballet Hero Awards we're honoring this gentleman uh, it's on the 23rd of March at the Paul Taylor dance space and it's gonna be fantastic 14 numbers amazing Broadway people and ballet people performing together so please come Thanks. I want to thank you so much for being here thank and being you. our ballet hero, um, because Thanks. you are our ballet hero. You're, you've done such amazing things and helped the world and created such pieces of art that, you know, have really made the world a better place. Well, thank you so much for honoring me. I, I, I really appreciate it. Anytime. Great. Thanks. Take care. See you there.